Hey everybody, welcome back to Appify Your Business. In this video, we're going to cover how to create a home screen that not only goes to different views, but allows you to have different action icons go to things other than view, such as web pages, or send emails, or even switch applications. And this design allows you to easily reconfigure your home screen at any time either by editing the records associated with this view or changing the values in the sheet. So jumping over to the sheet itself, we'll go over how this is laid out data-wise first. The first column here will represent the display name of the icon that the user will see. The second one will be the type of action that AppSheet will then use to take the user to column three here called location, whether that's a different view name or a URL. And then the fourth one will be a display icon of your choosing that you can, you can have uh, in this table. So really simple here. And then we'll jump into the application and start building out the home screen. So in the app, I've added my new, I added my new home table to the app definition here. And then I have it a, a view already set up associated with um, that view I created. And then you can see some other views that are in the app that are just attached to some rough, you know, some mock-up data here for demonstration purposes only. Click the home button down here and go to the view settings. You'll notice it's defaulting to a card view. That's a list. When you're creating the home screen, you can use either a deck view, a gallery view, or one of the four different types of card views. We use these views because they have an important setting in them and that on click of those records in that view, it allows you to select an action or choose an action to be associated with that button click to act on when the user clicks on it. So we'll use gallery view for this purpose as it'll be the most straightforward. So with the gallery view chosen, I could, you can sort by name or any other attributes that you've set up in your app. And then you could also choose your image size. Let's go ahead and remove this add button here. We'll go ahead and hide that and get that out of the way because we don't want to show that on the home screen. And then we'll change the icon. Here. And then we'll stick this in the center as well so we can make sure it's centered in the navigation bar. So next, we're going to create an action that will run when the user clicks on these icons to take them to the appropriate view or action associated with that, that icon itself. So we'll go to behaviors. We're gonna create several different actions based off the type of action we're looking to accomplish. So if you recall in our data table, we had four different types here. So we have two that are view, ones that are external link, email, and app. So we're gonna be creating four different actions to represent each of these types of possibilities that the user will. For the first one, we'll, we'll call this go to view. And then we'll select the type called go to another view within AppSheet. And then for target, we're going to make sure that we just select view and enclose this in link to view. And then for appearance, we're going to choose do not display because we want this to run in the background. So we've created this single view. And then under behaviors, we only want this to run when type is equal to view. So with that, we've set up the action for go to view. Next, we'll set up go to external link. And under do this, we're going to choose external, go to a website. And then for target, we're simply going to select the view itself. Because we're assuming whatever's in this field for external link will be a website. Then once again, under behavior, we want to make sure the type is equal to external link. Continuing on, we'll go ahead and create the last two actions. One will be go to app, and we will choose, we want to go to another app. And then we'll use the link to app formula and then close that in the view. And then under behavior, we'll make sure that type is equal to app. And then we'll create the last action here called go to open email, and we'll choose open a start an email option. And under type, choose email. Just to review, we've created four different actions here that represent each of the types associated with 
the different types we've identified in our table. Now we're going to create an overarching apparent action that's going to act to combine all these actions together. And we'll call this home screen click. And then to do this, we're going to choose grouped action, execute a sequence of actions. And we are going to add each of the actions we created down below. And then we'll make sure we do not display that as well. I'm going to go ahead and save the app. So now that we've created this overarching group action, we could then apply that to the view itself. So going back to the home view, under the gallery view settings, if you scroll down to the bottom under behavior, there's this option called event actions. We're going to change that from auto to home screen click. Remember home screen click represents the grouped action that contains all the other views and then hit save. So with that action added to the gallery behavior, I now have a finished home screen that is flexible and easy to use. So as you can see in the emulator on the right side, I'm in my home screen. And when I click on different views, I go to those views. If I click on web page, the web page will open up in a new screen. If I click on email, the email editor will open up if you have it assigned in your browser. And then for switch apps, you will be able to switch between other applications with the click of a button. In this case, there's nothing set up here um, for the emulator to go to another app. In addition to that, if you want to change how the text looks in any of these views, don't forget about format rules. You could simply assign fields appropriately to make your text show up in any different color that you want. And you could always take this a step further too and make specific admin views that allow you to edit the icons, edit the text, and change the different web page links if needed to allow for more simpler home screen updates without having to update the app definition. So with that, thanks for watching. As always, let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe this video. Thanks everyone for watching and have a good one.